Two bodies have been recovered and 13 people rescued in Shakahola Forest in the county of Kilifi. These are victims of the religious cult who have been fasting for several days deep in the forest. Some of those found alive are in critical condition with police officers fearing that the numbers of both the dead and those still alive could rise. NTV's Kevin Mutai also reports that the operation is facing serious challenges, including manpower and resources to evacuate the followers of the controversial doctrine. She is one of the first lucky people discovered alive, lying helpless inside a thicket while counting her last days. Her helpless voice attracted detectives carrying out an operation in the area, her condition being critical at the moment she was being evacuated to hospital. Thirteen more people were also rescued in different areas, weak and emaciated. Some even begging for water to calm their hunger pangs. They have been fasting here for several days now, with some surprisingly even requesting police to allow them conclude their last four days of starving. <laughs> Two bodies were also recovered here and processed for identification by homicide detectives before they were transferred to the morgue awaiting an autopsy. These are some of the alleged followers of a controversial religious doctrine and are said to have been in the company of their children for fasting who are suspected to have died and their bodies disposed. <laughs> Kwa hiyo jina kubwa la malo la kifahari na ituwa jangwani, waje wakai hapa wa mgoje yesu, walime mahindi na wa, wabarikiwe na wawe watanachakua na chakula. Lakini sitofahamu ya kwamba imefikia mahali, paka sasa watoto wanakufa na watu wazima wanakufa na ni kwamba kwamba wamepatiwa amri ya kwamba wafunge hadi hadi wafe detectives had to suspend mapping of the suspected mass graves and embark on a rescue mission after reports emerged that more followers of pastor Paul McKenzie are still in the forest undertaking the deadly fast some of the villages identified so far include Bethlehem Galilee with Jerusalem where McKenzie's homestead is being the largest with the highest number of followers Hili ndio maeneo ambayo makenzi anaishi na ndio alileta wale washirika wa, 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 wa ama, ama wale wafuasi ambao walikuwa wanamfuata na msaka msikana wa dada yangu ametoweka alijiunga na kanisa ya makenzi Na kwa leo ni siku ya tano tumefanikiwa kuja mahali wale walikuwa wamekampu kama maeneo yao 15 suspected grave sites were mapped for exhumation some looking freshly dug with loose soils detectives reveal the items of the deceased have been destroyed to conceal the evidence makenzi aliunda vi vikosi kama vikosi viwili hivi kosi cha kwanza ni cha mazishi yule ambaye atakuwa amelemelewa kifa azikwe na kosi nyingine cha security Security ya ina gadi kwa huu msitu ili mtu yote atakaye ingia mahali hapa waweze kumalizana naye. Shakahola lies inside the Chakama forest. Officers having a difficult time to maneuver the thickets with lack of both manpower and resources to evacuate both the dead and survivors of the cult. A manhunt has also been launched for a group of locals responsible for burying the dead and watching over the fasting exercise. The operation to map out suspected grave sites in the vast Chakama forest is expected to continue tomorrow, with the officers fearing that the numbers of those might have perished in this fasting cult could increase. Kevin Mutai, NTV in Kilifi County.